Hello YouTube, it's Chris again, video number 20, day number 20 of 31 videos in 31 days. A challenge that was put out by Marty from Marty's Rambling on YouTube. And today's video, I'm working in tight quarters because I usually work outside in my driveway and it's raining right now. So I'm working at the edge of my garage into the little interior part that I have available right now. My shop is just tore apart. And right now at best when I pull stuff out and I work inside the garage, I only have about a nine foot by six foot space. And this coming spring, I'm gonna clean it all out and get rid of a lot of stuff and have myself a decent sized shop. But anyways, what this is, is this is the box portion of a watch box or a jewelry box for wrist watches, pocket watches. I'm making it as a Christmas gift. It is made out of hickory and red oak. And the interior, the slats on the inside are going to be made out of red oak. And it is 10 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 4.5 and inches tall. Now, right now, I've got about an hour worth of sanding in it. But I want to do something because I have more sanding to do. I need to water pop it and then sand it down again. Right now, it's sanded to 120, and I want to take it down to 220. But what I want to do is I want to spray a little finish on it so we can see what it is going to look like. So here we go. You get to see it this first time as I get to see it for the first time. Now I'm going to be sanding this finish off, but I just wanted to put it on there so that we could all have a look to see how it's going to turn out. I've never worked with hickory before. I've worked with red oak. I'm not a fan of red oak or any oak really. This is the red oak here. And then we come up onto the hickory. The hickory looks really nice. Now I didn't show because I wanted to show the red oak and the back is red oak. I want to, this is a part that's going to be in the front or this is the front and I'd like to see what this is going to look like. Now this whole panel here is hickory and I'm not putting on a heavy coat or very many coats because like I said I'm going to sand it off and then I'm going to water pop it and then I'm going to sand it down again to at least 220 and I think that it's going to turn out pretty nice for what I'm looking for I really wasn't told the color or the tone of the furniture that he has in his bedroom where he's going to be keeping this but I just wanted to let you all see what it looks like and I think he's going to be really pleased with it. It's kind of a mellow color brown. I thought maybe it might be a little bit darker but I'm very presently pleasantly surprised on what it looks like. Well, like I said, this is video number 20 out of uh, 31. You get a chance, like I say, and I try to say in every video, go over to Marty's Rambling on YouTube and check it out. And also, if you're on Facebook, I have started a page on Facebook, and it's open to anybody, any type of crafter. You don't have to be a woodworker. You can be somebody that does sewing or leather goods, painting, anything. It's called Marty's Rambling Fan Page. It's open to anybody that wants to join or anybody that wants to come take a look at it. It's uh, open to the public. And I think if you guys came by and took a look, you would probably join and you would even join the community and become part of our little family. We have a great time. We're uh, just a bunch of crazy people. that We enjoy life to the fullest. Now you all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow on day 21. Take care.